Are you like me? I mean, what, what I mean by that is like, do you have a weird shaped head? I know, it's a, I know it's a weird question, but I do, right? So whenever I buy a hat, it looks great at first, but then like a week after wearing it, then it looks all weird. I'm gonna show you here in a second. But if you're like that, I found a solution with these, and this video is for you. Over the years, I purchased a lot of hats. Let me, let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. This hat, when I first bought it, looked great on me. But now you put it on and it's doing weird stuff through here. And it makes, can you guys see that? And it makes me look weird. Um, same thing with like this hat, like nothing. You, you, you spend money on these hats and then they don't, they don't look right. After this one might have a chance. That one's not too bad. Body by bacon. But I kept having an issue where I would buy these hats and I'd spend money on them. After a week, they look terrible. So I, I saw these ads for melon, uh, these melon hats. And I'm like, man, that's, that's 70 bucks for a freaking hat. Like, who's going to pay that? I bought one because I was curious um, about it from all the ads and stuff that you've probably seen them. They've probably been on your, your social media and all that kind of stuff. But like, here's one. Here's, here's a melon hat. And this is the first one I bought. And... It, I've had this one for like two years now and I've washed it at least six, seven times and it still looks new. Like I don't get it. I don't get why it does it. Um, you could tell like when you first, uh, when you first buy these hats that, uh, that they're very, they're high quality. And for the record, Melon doesn't know I'm doing this video. Like they, I, I paid cash for this and they don't know I exist. They didn't ask me to do a, a, a video on it, but I love the hat. So why not do a review for a hat that I love? And uh, I love them so much that I bought more than one. I actually have this in black camo and I can't find it. And that really bums me out. Um, but here, I got this one too to mix it up, right? A little, little Heather Gray, right? I wear a lot of, uh, um, you know, OD green, olive drab green, because I have this style that I consider is veteran chic since I was in the military for 26 years. So I have this hat, but I'm gonna show you something. All right, this hat I've gotten sweaty with, right? Can you see it? Can you see the sweat? Uh, can you see the sweat stains in there? I'm gonna show you, like I'm gonna wash this hat and then we're gonna take a look at it after it dries. So as you can see, this hat's new. I haven't washed this one yet. Right, I've washed the gray one, I've washed the camouflage one, and I've washed the other one. But I haven't washed this one yet, so I'm gonna show you, this is how it looks when you put sweat stains on it. Put it up closer. There they are. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it dries. You know what's crazy? All I'm gonna do is use a device like this, and this is what I use to clean dishes with. Now, I don't want you to think that I'm gonna clean my hat and then clean the dishes. These things pop off. Right, so I have different ones, one for the dishes and one for my hats. So check this out. Get your brush wet. Get the hat wet. Just drench this thing. These things are made to be wet. They, they do really great with sweat and all that kind of stuff. Push down on this. That sweatband. Rinse it off. Ooh. All right, now you can't forget the most important part is you gotta get the water out of it. So you just, yeah, you just flick it, flick it. There we go. All right, now we gotta do is hang it up, let her dry. While the other one is drying, let's go over some of the features and things on why I think this hat is a really good hat. I think probably the most important part for me, after multiple washings, it still keeps the shape. As you saw with these other hats, like this one, it lost its shape real quick. So, and it's because of the way that it's made. You can tell if you have one of these hats, it's a lot more high quality. Um, and you will see 
that it has this little button right here. And I couldn't figure out what the button was at first on the bottom of this hat, but then I realized that every time I grab it, look where my thumb goes. I'm grabbing my hat and I'm taking it off. Crazy, right? <laughs> I mean, it's silly, but it makes sense because you can get, you know, fingerprints and stuff all over it, but not, it's just a little button. Button that you do for your thumb, I dig it. I'm kind of used to it. And there we go. This interior lining, it's nice. And because this is thicker, that holds its spot. Oh, I must've got this one wet. I must've got it wet. I touched it on the countertop after I washed the other hat. And now I got a little water spot on there, which I'm not even worried about. It's gonna come dry right off. You won't even be able to tell. <laughs> Amazing review. I know, I know. I've never been a fan of the flex fit type fasteners in the back. Um, so this has the normal ones that we're all used to. These feel a little bit thicker, like the rubber's a little bit different. I mean, just everything about this hat is a higher quality. And for, you know, for that amount of money, well, it, it should be. Now, considering that I've spent a lot of money on these hats, 12, 15, 30 bucks per hat, and I have probably, I've probably gone through 20 of them before I ran into these melon hats. So if you think about it, buying a few of these melon hats that I know is gonna last me for years that I know is always gonna look right, well, that's better than spending money on all these other ones that are only gonna look good for a week for me and then me having to go out and repurchase them. It's been an hour. I go and check on my hat, it's completely dry. Take a look at it. Looks brand new again, and it will for like years. I can only imagine, since I had that one for two years and it still looks like new. This one, washed it, you saw I didn't spend much time doing it. Looks new again, so yeah. If you're ever wondering, is a hat worth $70? I'm gonna say it is. You guys are rock stars for staying with me through this video. Melon, you guys are awesome for making a great hat for my melon. Eh, see what I did there? Either way, thanks for staying. If you saw something you like, hit the like button, maybe leave a comment, do something like that. I don't know, do whatever you want, right? I'm here for you, you're here for hats, apparently, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.